Today, I'm going to be revisiting The Last of Us 2, a divisive piece of art that journalists thought was a masterpiece and everyone else thought was crap. But that's what you get every time a new game comes out. What sucks about Naughty Dog is that everybody has high expectations over their next title. The original Last of Us was a storytelling masterpiece and was very influential for linear story-driven games. The Last of Us 2 is scrambled and messy with an irredeemable cast of characters. Uncharted 4 has fun puzzles and Crash Bandicoot. The Last of Us 2 has unplayable PS3s and PSPs. Let's be real here. Which mobile gaming console out of every game console in the apocalypse, which one would survive? A fucking Game Boy, and here's why. A Game Boy survived a bomb blast in the Gulf War. If a Game Boy can survive a bomb blast, I'm pretty sure it can survive a freaking zombie apocalypse. I rest my case. Uncharted 4 is action-packed and exciting. The Last of Us 2 is bloody and horrific. It is a barrage of violence and gore. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? All of us. Yes, I can. I'm already doing so. Shh. Shh. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Naughty Dog continues to build upon their level design, incorporating more branching paths. You can crawl through grass, set traps, trick walkers into attacking your enemies. This game offers an insane amount of flexibility for tackling obstacles. It's like Metal Gear Solid. Eventually, you will get caught. That's when you gotta throw a Molotov and run for cover. Whistle again, bitch. Other times you might be caught inside a building so you have to keep moving non-stop until you find an exit. Honestly, your best course of action is to just take everybody out one by one before they know you're there. The combat is brutal as hell. You stab someone and blood gushes out of their neck, the shotgun obliterates people, enemies will call out for their fallen comrades, people will beg for their lives. Come on, get back up, get back up. Please, please. Take it easy. Just take it easy. Sorry. Stop talking. Jesus. It's funny how killing people here feels more fun than in a game like GTA. In Grand Theft Auto, killing feels like... You want some more? In The Last of Us 2, it's more like... finished editing this whole scene and I have to ask what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> this is one of the best looking games ever. The graphics are on par with games like Red Dead Redemption 2. It relies heavily on actors and animators alike to bring these characters to life. The world is astounding. I've been to many major US cities and it feels surreal to see one rotting away with the passage of time. Blizzards, thunderstorms, and large currents rushing through what used to be busy freeways. It almost puts Red Dead to shame. But nobody's mad about graphics or gameplay, they're mad about the story. So what's wrong with the story? Turns out, we got lied to. Joel is nowhere to be found except for the first hour of the game and flashbacks. Instead of Joel, you play as Abby, and Abby's the same person who killed Joel, in turn, igniting Ellie's bloodthirst. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know why people are mad. Love the gameplay and the game effects, but I hate what they have done to the story. Yeah, it was not what I expected, but it shouldn't be like that. Joel is not dumb. They put so much politics into the game, which I hate most. Now, Pat, I appreciate your input, but your final score doesn't line up. How could you give this game a zero even though you love the gameplay? That makes no sense. What a joke. It's an insult to the first one. The story was made by a 14-year-old child emo who thinks he known what anger and hate are. Simply, if you love the first one, don't go further. Y you misspelled bye. Joel did nothing wrong, is innocent, very bad story. 
I don't even know how to read this one. Destroy the story completely out of character that Joel would trust someone he just met just to be killed like a dog. Also, Screenwriting 101, never kill a main character in the first act, especially if you're writing a sequel. Whoever wrote this story was definitely an amateur. Okay, this one I can kind of understand. The sentiment I and others follow is that Joel wouldn't be so trusting of a random group of people. This is not how Joel acts. Joel is always five steps ahead. Your old man really laid into me today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. LGBTQ propaganda BS. Pure garbage. Don't buy this trash. Stay away. Hashtag justice for Joel. <clears throat> Trust me, it gets better. Horrible forced LGBT. No character development. Poor writing. Audio is cool though. You know, I don't get why people hate the fact that Ellie is gay. Ellie likes girls. I like girls. We have something in common. Let's hit up the strip club together. It has Zionist propaganda of Hebrews. Don't give your money to Zionists. What is Zionist propaganda? Oh, okay, I can explain this one. On day one, you go to a synagogue and you can't shoot the Torah. You know what? I actually agree with this guy 100%. Like, you know, it's not bad nor good. I mean, you know, there's not a lot to talk about here. Holy shit! Zionist agenda and Zionist propaganda made by Hebrews. Weak story of a propaganda tool which forces you to be brainwashed. Woke and LGBT, empty world, lots of cutscenes, horrific story, non-sensual story, obsolete gameplay, annoying music, boring feeling. This product is a crime against humanity. Cause it attacks your worldview and promotes your enslavement to Zionists. Propaganda. They flooded the gaming world to do their Hebrews tricks. You can easily spot them by their ill actions and their facial attributes since all of them are incest products of their ancestors. Last of Us 2 haters, this guy's on your side. Okay, here's a positive comment. A magnificent piece of art. I recommend it to everyone. Naughty Dog is one of the industry's standard. 10 out of 10, easy. I'm satisfied with how it ended and I wouldn't want a part three. How about a new IP, you Naughty Dog? I'm satisfied with how it ended. 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 How about a new IP, you Naughty Dog? You're not as mad as I was the first time? Okay, this last one is my favorite. I ill write this story and try not to laugh. I'm serious. This is the story of LOU2. Joel gets murdered at beginning of the game by a transsexual, lol. He uses a golf club to murder Joel. Ellie is lesbian who has relationship with a Hebrew brown girl and that girl later gets pregnant by a Chinese, Chinese and Ellie and that brown girl with her Chinese child become a family. Ellie that and that brown Hebrew girl do drugs and you control two characters. Ellie the lesbo and the transsexual guy who takes steroids. I kid you not, he takes steroids and he gets anally prolapsed in a boat by a white guy. During your missions, you will find a pregnant woman who dresses as soldier, carries weapons, and fights zombies, and also characters which you never saw before, but game presents them as canon, serious, and not impor and important. Sorry. And seriously, I'm not kidding you. This is the story of the game. Then, the team of the transsexual guy, which is full of gypsies, Chinese, lesbians, and Hebrews hunt down white kids. <laughs> what the fuck? Hunt down white kids while they murder zombies. The game is such a woke up culture. So trash, you'll find yourself laughing at scenario when off course you won't be bored. Most of time you will be bored rolling your eyes, regretting the purchase you made. A good way to insult a person is to give him this game as present, lol. What the fuck? Three out of five people found this helpful. So what do I think about the story? Last of Us 2, Special Edition, PS4, 99.99. Three dollars for the warranty, subtotal 102. Plus tax, 13%, 13.39, total 116.38. I paid a hundred and sixteen dollars 
and 38 cents for this bull sex. My hard earned fucking money. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I have never been this disengaged in a story before, but during my second playthrough, I found myself being more interested, but that doesn't negate the fact that there are too many twists and it's hard to get invested in the characters. I want to take the time to talk about Abby. How could you have this person kill off the main guy and then expect us to be invested in them as a character? This is bad storytelling, kind of reminds me of this other bad game, I think it was called Grand, Grand Auto, Auto Theft. Theft. Fans are clearly attached to Joel, that's why killing him off is such a powerful move, but the way it was done just felt lazy and rushed. Like Pulp Fiction, The Last of Us 2 uses dual narratives showing you two perspectives for one story. However, Pulp Fiction builds upon both characters first before they start killing each other. In The Last of Us 2, they just start killing right from the start. I think the climax is where the story really fell off. Everything starts to get interesting, then the game resets and all that tension is lost. I'll use this graph for reference. Now, one of the best parts is this sniper section. This is the only section where I felt connected with Abby during both playthroughs. Then it reveals that you've been fighting Tommy this whole time. That is subverting expectations. This is just a straight up fucking crime. The game does have some replay value. It's fun to see how you can tackle each obstacle differently or connect the dots between the stories. The only problem is that the slow moments feel really slow and all you want to do is get back into the action. The game does many things I disagree with, but it did show us how cruel we can be. The game itself is like the Joker, something that is here to show us how we truly are. So I still ask, was The Last of Us 2 really that bad? Yes. Okay, this is one of the longest reviews I've ever done, and there's like still more I want to talk about, so if you click on the video here, you can see on the extended discussion that's on the second channel. Um, yeah, anyway, um, see you later. Bye.